Hey friends, you got Renee Rivera here at Mold Mending. So today I thought I would share with you um, one of the protocols that I had to go through at the very beginning of my detoxing thing called CSM. This is more of a tip on how to avoid a side effect because one of the biggest side effects to taking a binder, which the cholestyramine is, Remember, this binder is insoluble, so it's not going to disintegrate into your body. Like I mentioned, it's going to attract those to toxins, which for me, it's the, the mold toxins. It's going to attract that like a magnet and start going down the intestinals. And it can create a clogging when it gets down to the lower area because it's compacting everything not just your uh, the waste from your body, but now it's got the toxins and the cholestyramine mixed in with that. And it's creating kind of a compounding uh, product that makes it harder to push out. And so a way that I've overcome that, and a lot of people will not finish this, um, this prescription and this part of your detoxing regimen because of that constipation that it causes not just the difficulty of getting it down if it's the powder form, but also the side effect of that constipation. So how did I overcome that? I'm excited to share with you. And that is, I looked at the foods in my diet because I am not one that goes and just tries to find, you know, the laxative or whatever. I don't do any of that. Uh, I try to do everything natural unless my doctor says I need to have something that's, um, prescribed, such as the CSM is a prescribed thing. Um, so what I did was I looked at the foods in my diet and I try to remember, okay, of my limited list <laughs> of what I can have, what would help me with this situation of, of things getting compacted and tight and hard to push out uh, when it's time to go to the bathroom. And what I remembered was I limited intake of lettuce, iceberg lettuce and romaine. I stopped using uh, regularly because I didn't like how it gurgled my stomach um, after eating it. And then the next day it would cause a sludginess. It would cause like a loose stool. And so I thought, hmm, okay, those are the items I avoided. But if I, while taking the CSM treatment, the cholestyramine, if I up my intake of the foods that cause that sludginess that are approved on my list from my nutritionist and my doctor, but are the things that cause more of the looser stool. If I ingest that, what would happen? And what happened was it did loosen up constipation and it created a just a, just a regular flow as if I were never even taking this um, cholestyramine. So previously what would have caused a looseness in the stool during during CSM time or cholestyramine treatment time, it just keeps making sure it, it, it creates that natural flow that your body is used to versus backed up or versus that loose stool. I hope that made sense. <laughs> but it made it simpler and just helped move things along, but it didn't create that sludginess like it used to without the cholestyramine in my system. So that was a great thing to find. Uh, I tried different things, um, like I was looking up that peppermint um, was helping uh, some people, that the peppermint teas would help some people that doing certain essential oils. And I didn't wanna do that essential oil thing cause I just very touchy with, different things and the cholestyramine was already something new that I didn't want to mix that with another new item. Remember, I always have to separate things far away from each other when I'm introducing that. So the foods are what saved me and took care of that issue. I pray that this is an encouragement to you that helps you successfully accomplish your cholestyramine treatment. And I just want to encourage you that you got to think outside of the box when it comes to mold illness, chronic inflammatory response syndrome, and any kind of chronic inflammation, uh, autoimmune disease. We just, we have to think outside of the box than what normally people do. And what works for me may not work for you. So you might have to switch this up a little bit. 
okay? Um, it could be more exercise works for you versus the diet. I, I can't say what is going to be best for you, but I can share with you what worked good for me. And my hope is that you do victor through this and you share it with somebody else, what worked for you and give them that as another idea of how they can navigate the mold illness and navigate what I call some of the hurdles and hiccups that we just deal with because of our uniqueness <laughs> with this. All right, you guys have a great day and stay well. And kick cholestyramine's butt by accomplishing, getting through your, the whole protocol. All right, take care.